Welcome, we will continue fault tree analysis. Today we will discuss primarily cart set method. So, the contents of today's presentation one the conceptual issues related to cart set, then the algorithms MOCAS and mix up algorithm. We will be discussing primarily the MOCAS algorithm and there will be example on cart set methods and the source is the same book that is Komamoto and Henley probabilistic risk assessment and management for engineer and scientist it is really IEEE. So, you have already seen the gate by gate method in gate by gate method the top top event with different gates finally, at the bottom events the bottom event probabilities are known and every gates are quantified and finally, top event probability is quantified. So, that method is good for small fault tree for large fault tree you require to use computer programming and you require an efficient algorithm for that purpose. Cartset method is one such algorithm that will help in quantifying the top event probability through computer programming. So, there are certain uh, terms and certain um, issues related to this cartset method. For example, first one is the set. So, all of you know the set is collection of items, collection of individuals or collection of entities. In, in fall tree, it is collection of basic events, all basic events. So, a set containing all the basic events in a fall tree is termed as basic set. It is set because it talks about the, the event related to all the component level failures. So, now if as you have already seen from the get by get method, if you know the probability of the basic set means the component probability, you will be able to find out the top probability, top event probability. So, and also you, you, will, you will see that for top event to occur, it is not that all the bottom events should occur, maybe a combination of bottom events will ultimately lead to top event. So, that is why for the top event to occur, it may not require all the events in the basic set to occur. Now, we are coming in terms of talking in terms of set. So, basic set means what? All the basic events. So, for top event to occur, all the basic event like B 1 to B n that does not require to work, occur, may be one or more in combination ultimately lead to the top event occurrence. So, for example, a hole in the cylinder can cause leakage of gas that is the top event means only one basic event in hole in the cylinder particularly that kitchen gas cylinder a hole can cause leakage of gas. So, one basic event may be of such capacity that it can lead to the top event occur or a combination of basic events finally, lead to the top event occur. So, that what is cart set? A cart set is a subset of the basic set such that if all the basic event in the cart set occur then the top event will occur. So, that means what we say that basic set is the ultimate that is a super set. So, there may be subset that can be derived from the basic set and and what is the property that if all the events in that subset occur then top event will occur then that subset is cut set. Now, let us consider the example all of you have seen this example in earlier class that we have 6 basic events B 1, B 2, B 3, B 4, B 5 and B 6 and then what will be the basic set basic set contain all the basic events 
now let us arbitrarily create sum of the subset only b1 b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 b6 b2 b4 b5 b6 so you have six basic events so basic set contains six elements now arbitrarily we have created this many subsets now for the sake of understanding we will examine one at a time and already the cuts the total fall tree utilizing the six basic events i have given to you just follow that fall tree and you will see that from that fall tree the occurrence of b1 alone or b1 b2 b3 in combination or b2 b4 b5 b6 in combination can cause the top event that is leakage of gas to occur okay so you have seen this one but the s3 which is basically b4 b5 b6 if the event b4 b5 b6 occur the top event will not occur so as a result s1 is cut set s2 is also another cut set s4 is also a cut set but this one s3 is not a cut set i hope you understand okay so now what we have found out we found out that the from the arbitrary sub uh, selection of subset like s1 s2 s3 and s4 this is cut set cut set not cut set this is cut set okay so what happened in s1 and s4 all the events in the set required to occur for the top event to occur let me go back again for example uh, for example let me go back again for example s1 so b1 must occur s3 b4 b5 b6 if that occur this will this is not a cut set s4 and s2 so you you will find out that ultimately i told you that here this must occur and here in s2 you have to see that whether all the three required to occur or maybe a, a combination will another combination will help similarly s4 so that is what i want to discuss now what i want to tell you that what we have written here that that the set s1 which basically contain b1 and your s4 b2 b4 b5 b6 can be termed as minimal cut sets why because all the elements in minimal cut set must occur that mean then only the top event occur but if you take the cut set s2 that is non minimal because this s2 that b1 b2 b3 b3 and here what happened b1 and b2 b3 then this s1 and s2 both are equally able to help occurring the top event so as a result what happened two minimal cut set s1 and s2 and ultimately that s1 if occur and s2 occur they independently can make the top event occur now if you create a set like this b1 b2 b3 this is not minimal because all the events in this set doesn't required to occur for the top event to occur so then what happened basically we have given you three things one is basic set for example b1 b2 to b6 then we say cut set for example b1 b2 b3 this is a cut set 
why it is cursed because this three basic event if occur the top event will occur it is it is not basic set because basic set contains all the bottom level events but this one can be written like this b1 and b2 b3 now b1 alone is sufficient to cause the top event to occur so that's why this is a cut sheet again b2 b3 sufficient to cause the top event to occur then this is a another cut sheet the property of here that if b1 for example a2 both b2 and b3 should occur then the top event occur that's why this is minimal cut sheet for example s1 is minimal although it has one only one element but this cut set b1 b2 b3 it is not minimal because it's combination of two minimal cut set okay so we have basic set we have cut set we have minimal cut set so we want to find out the minimal cut sets usually when we say cut set method we try to find out the minimal cut sets so how do you generate cut set we will use mocas algorithm developed by fasil et al 1974 it's a top down approach or mix up app that is minimal cut set upward it's a bottom up approach both the approach are more or less similar so but one is from top to bottom another from bottom to top so we'll discuss this approach please listen very carefully that how mix a mocas algorithm works so it is a very important algorithm for fault tree analysis there are two principles principle 1 and principle 2 it is basically related to and and or gate so when you develop a fault tree you might might be using other gates not necessarily only and and or gate you may be using other gate like exclusive or gate or priority and gate some other gates so it is it is it is recommended that you convert other gates into equivalent and or or gate or combination of and and or gate and then make the make the fault tree having only and and or gate that is the first thing and second is that you use two principles to find out the cut set one is principle one it relates to and gates if there is any and gate it increases the number of basic event in a cut set so let me write down like this suppose top event so there are let there are many cut set like s1 s2 suppose sk so many cut sets you know what is cut set if the event in this set occur top event will occur if event in this set occur top event will occur if event in this sk set occur top event will occur then we can say it's a or gate with all the cut sets or you can write like this so now now what we say if they are minimal cut set then all the basic events here must occur then only this will occur so that means there is an end gate with the basic event related to this cut set similarly related to this cut set similarly related to this cut set okay the principle is in the fault tree when you are coming down from the top to bottom whenever you encounter an end gate it simply indicates that that increases the number of basic event it cuts it it will not increase the number of cut sets so given a fault tree like this suppose this is my end gate then here is one basic event here is one or gate here is another two basic events and here is one basic event so coming down you found out an end gate what does it mean 
this get will basically will increase the number of basic event in the set. So, this start with a set here this one this get and this basic event will be the element and it will be only one set. It will not increase the number of cut set, but when you get an end gate or gate it increases the number of cut sets because orbits is more vulnerable. So, this principle you have to apply and we will see how it will work. Then how do you proceed? Step 1 alphabetized each gate and number each basic event. So, that means if this is the fault tree gate will be A, B and number means like 1, 2, 3, 4 that is why alphabet each gate number of and number each basic events. Consider the upper mode, most gate first identify all the inputs to this gate first you consider this see the inputs and accordingly use the applicable principle whether and and or and then either you increase the number of uh, basic events in a cut set or number of cut sets. So, if the gate is OR gate increase the number of rows and A that is principle 2 and if the gate is AND gate increase the number of columns. So, let me tell you what is this I think next slide you will see what is this. And then what happened you move down to the next gate and in this process go down to the to the bottom com at a bottom level and and then you will having a lot of cut sets and then all non minimal and duplicates cut, cut sets will be will be removed using boolean algebra then the remaining cut sets will be the minimal cut sets suppose this is our hypothetical fault tree top event alphabetized gate A, gate B, gate C, gate D. This is my end gate, this is another end gate, then this is OR gate, this is OR gate. Now, number the basic events 1, 2, 3, again 2, 4 that means these events coming in the two places of the whole tree. Okay. So, we want to use the MOCAS algorithm now. How we will do? You see, first gate is what? You create a matrix. So, in the matrix, the number of columns and number of rows. So, number of rows, number of columns. So, rows stands for cut number of every row talks about a cut set and every column talks about the element in that corresponding cut set means corresponding row. So, we have already seen that the diagram you have already seen diagram is top event then A. So, start with this. So, we are doing this start with A. Now, what is A? A E the stop event gate is A the initial entry into the matrix. What is A? A is an AND gate. If it is AND gate what it will do? It will not increase the cut sets, increase the number of cut sets that means and uh, that means there will it will it will be it will be in the same row there will be no ad additional row for this and it increases the elements in the cut set. So, first cut set. So, the input to A is what? Input to A is B and D. Input to A is B and D. So, that means what we will do then? A is con converted to B and D in the first row. Number of elements is increased. The reason is A is AND gate. Now, see you have two gates here B and D. Suppose we consider B first. What is B gate? B is OR gate. So, if it is OR gate, it will increase the number of cut set. 
so how many uh, what will be the number increase depends on the number of inputs to these gates if the gate has two inputs then the first that uh, there will be two cut sets if it is three inputs three cut sets like this now b has two inputs what are those two inputs 1 and c so that's why b is replaced by 1 and c d remain as it is because d is common to both 1 and c so what happened you see in the end gate case the element in the row increases in the or gate case number of rows increases number of rows is synonymous to number of cut sets number of columns synonymous to number of elements in a cut set then there are two things c and d gate now you can choose c or d anyone let us go by alphabets order so c is chosen what is c c is an and gate if c is an and gate it will not increase the number of cut set rather it will increase the element in the cut set so the input to c is 2 and 3 and as a result you see 1 d as it is now c is replaced by 2 d takes its place 3 is added here one more one more column is added so that's why 1 d 2 d 3 this is basically the cut set two cut sets so how long you will continue you will continue so long the the matrix will be with only uh, numbers there will be no alphabets because alphabet talks about the gates okay now see how many alphabets are there only one that is d but in two places so we will write what is the input to d input to d is 2 and 4 so and what is d d is or gate if d is or gate it will increase the cut set so what happened one as it is then d is replaced by 2 2 ok the second row we, we, we kept as it is but as d being the or gate it increases the number of rows so 4 2 already we have considered we have to consider 4 so that is why 1 and 4 1 is common 2 and 4 are input to this gate this is first time we have done but there is that d is not completed here so there another another d is there in the same manner you have increased the number of rows so as a result what happened you got one cut cut set 1 and 2 another one 2 2 3 another one 1 4 another one 2 4 3 now you use boolean algebra to reduce this to minimal cut set like 1 2 it is minimal because both required to work occur 2 2 3 this is nothing but 2 3 because the same basic event coming two times it is boolean and zero concept is one so the second one is replaced reduced to 2 and 3 then 1 4 as it is now what will happen to 2 and 4 2 4 3 this is not a minimal cut set the reason you have already seen that if 2 and 3 occurs top event will occur now here 2 4 and 3 is there so 2 and 3 already there so that means that is already considered so this is not minimal and it is not required so we have removed this one so as a result the number of minimal cut set is 3 reduced to this minimal cut set this is what is the algorithm mocha's algorithm for minimal cut set okay i hope you have understood let me repeat again we are using two principles principle one and gate will increase the number of elements in a cut set principle two or gate increases the number of cut set what will be the increase in both the cases increasing the number of inputs to that particular gate if it is and gate then the number of element in the cut set will be the number of inputs to that AND gate. If it is OR gate, number of cut set will increase and that increase is number of input to the OR gate and using this principle and, and then to, to make it programmable what we have done, we have basically saying that you alphabetize the uh, gates and number the basic events so, and then, then follow this algorithm. Okay. I hope you have understood. 
see the situation here leakage of gas or gate how many inputs 1 2 3 so if you want to create so first you start with g1 then its or gate it will increase the number of rows 1 g2 g3 so these are all cut sets now you talk about g2 so g2 is what and gate so input how many inputs 2 so what will be the next stage then 1 g2 will be replaced by 2 and 3 and g3 will be as it is but g3 is again you see it is basically g4 and 2 so you write this one and it is it is an end gate so g4 and 2 okay now what is g4 g4 is another end gate and which has g5 and 6 so that means g4 will be replaced by then this will be there this is okay then g2 g4 this portion is replaced by g5 and 6 g5 is or gate having 4 and 5 so that means resultant things will be 1 2 3 then 4 5 4 6 Achha, 2 is there na? ok g4 g4 a ok 2 is there so then 2 4 6 and then 2 5 6 using mocha's algorithm you are getting this it is there you see it is there g1 is or gate 3 inputs 3 cut sets then 1 as it is it is basic event nothing to do g2 is and gate with 2 basic events fine 2 3 g3 having basic event 2 and gate 4 so like this now 1 as it is this as it is and g4 is and gate with g5 and 6 so 2 g5 6 in this manner break and ultimately how many cut sets you are getting 1 2 3 and 4 now there is no redundant basic events so 1 2 3 there is they are unique 2 4 6 unique 2 5 6 unique now what you have to see you have to see that whether they are basically basically uh, minimal or not see 1 nowhere is there 2 3 is not sufficient to replace this 2 4 6 not sufficient to replace this also so this is a minimal cut set okay so this is what is the concept of cut set mocha's algorithm so once you have the cut sets ready then the logical linking is top event with or gate and this is cut set 1 cut set 2 cut set 3 and cut set means minimal cut set so all the basic event should occur that's why end gate end gate like this so that means once you know the number of cut sets and the element of the cut sets you will be you will be able to find the probability of this cut set this cut set this cut set and then find out the probability of the top event using the or uh, gate um, logic okay so this is what is our cut set method and for the example we have already found out one is cut set then two three then 2 4 6 2 5 6 this probability known probability known probability known because of and gate 2 and 3 it is multiplied because of here also and gate these 3 multiplied here also and gate these 3 multiplied but we are assuming that basically they are independent independent that basic events are independent here then it is and or gate so what happened input 1 2 3 and 4 use the or gate formula and you will be ultimately getting this probability so leakage of gas the probability is 0 0.0001 okay so 1 in 10000 10 to the power 4 of 4 times you use the oven the kitchen suppose 10000 times you have used this and one time there will be a leakage mix up algorithm just reverse 
So, if for the leakage of gas top event, we started from gate 1 and proceed through gate 5 in the Mokas case. In mix up, we will start from G5, the lowest gate, and proceed upward. So, G5 is OR gate, and the two principle that means increase in uh, element in a cut set or increase in number of cut set, that principle will be applied. Okay. So, G5 is OR gate. Then G4, G4 is an AND gate that is why number of elements increases. Now, G4, 4, 6, 5 in this manner you proceed. Then finally, ultimately you will get the same, same number of minimal cut set. So, I hope you got it. If you have any query regarding cut set method, please use the forum. Thank you very much.